Welcome to this week's episode of 60 Seconds with the Superintendent. Well, throughout the school year, we've shared episodes with you detailing how we've had a pivot, how we've adjusted and adapted to meet the needs of a pandemic. Well, as we get to this time of the school year and think of all of the wonderful culminating events, let's head over to Strongsville High School to see how they've evolved to celebrate these great culminating experiences. I'm very excited to see all of you here. So the exciting thing about this year is we're able to do things live. Uh, our academic award ceremonies are all live this year, along with our top 5%, um, you know, prom is gonna be live. So this year we have, um, you know, we're doing a live graduation where we're, we're having people here in the facility. We have a stage set up on the football field. So we've taken the approach that we are going to maximize the experience because what we really want is for our kids to get, our, especially our poor seniors who have had a rough year, to get as much live as they possibly can so that they can look back and say, yes, it wasn't exactly the way it used to be, but what we had was pretty cool. First year award. We had 300 freshmen with a 3.5 GPA or higher out of 450. Last night we had 250 sophomores who have a cumulative GPA of 3.5 or higher during a pandemic. So it's important that these have been honored, but we also are live streaming it. So our families who are maybe not comfortable yet, they're getting the experience too. So it's been nice that we've been able to honor the achievement of our kids. Because Strongsville kids have achieved very well during what has been a rough pandemic. Thank you. As we have brought back these things live, I think our kids have, the last two months have breathed a collective sigh of relief. You know, we're getting to do some of this stuff. We're not gonna miss out like maybe last year's class did. And, and the appreciation I've gotten from students and parents has been very, very uh, positive and energizing to me to see that they're, you know, that they're embracing, that they're getting these things before they leave. We are so excited that we're able to have an in-person prom this year. Uh, we were really disappointed last year when we had to make the decision to cancel it. This prom is going to be a very unique one. We're going to have the DJ set up on the bleachers and the whole football field from the 50 yard line to the end zone is going to be our dance floor for the students. The kids are going to be able to spread out and really enjoy themselves. We're going to have a dinner spot in the side parking lot by the auditorium where they can get their food and enjoy it outside. The after prom will then take over and they'll have their casino set up on the track. They'll have inflatables, they'll have caricatures, all the things that they would normally have at the after prom at the rec center will be held at the football field um, afterwards. We want to be able to do this event without the community involvement that we have. We're very lucky to have a very supportive PTA. They are so excited to be able to do this for the students. They're throwing out tons of ideas, reaching out to their contacts within the community. Um, they're really bringing a lot of effort to help us make this a successful event. We have reached out to various food trucks within the community and they've offered to come and be here to serve dinner and dessert to our students while they're at prom and after prom. The after prom committee reaches out to a wide variety of vendors to have food and drinks and prizes for after prom. Prom and commencement are those two things that you cherish as a senior and um, wanting to spend time with your classmates and peers and make those memories from the high school. So being able to have prom and have those memories and take the pictures and cherish those moments will be very beneficial to the students. It's still something that I remember 15 years later. Well, I know what we're able to offer this year may not be exactly what we've been able to do in the past, but I think we've looked beyond that box, looked to be creative, to evolve and partner so that we could bring something unique and special to our students during this time of the year. A special thanks to all of our teachers, staff, administrators, PTAs, and community partners that came together to celebrate these end of the year events and make this special for our students. As always, thanks for watching and go make it a great Mustang week.